seat. I would consider myself an ambitious person. I think I strive to become the best version of myself at any given moment. I'd like to work in a meritocracy, ideally. I've lived in the UK for around five years. Um, you can probably hear it from my accent. Challenges uh, definitely motivate me. I think that's something that um, makes me want to get out and get out of bed in the morning. I do often like to win. If I do lose, I try and learn from my mistakes and see how I can move forward. The research definitely speaks for itself that diverse workplaces do a lot better, so there's diversity of thought. You shouldn't really have to justify having a diverse organisation. Allowing people to be their very unique selves. I would like my job to understand that I've got to have a flexibility and balance. I've seen a lot of places that don't utilise modern technology. Employers who encourage innovation become more attractive to people like me just because you enable us to use tools that we're familiar with. Somewhere that I can bring my whole self to work and that people want to hear what I did last weekend, whether that was to a wedding or a function at the temple. Know that I've shared a piece of myself and hopefully that other people can share their experiences as well. I think having strong role models is really important. Being able to look into companies that you have an interest in and see people who look like you, are from similar backgrounds and will understand you as an individual is really, really important and respect that each and every other person in the firm has earned their way here. I'd like to think that we're in a post-feminist age where women can go into the careers that they want to go into. There's a lot of people coming from different backgrounds and different pasts and a lot I can learn from them and shape me into the person I will be in the future. What can you do different as an employer rather than doing the same thing and getting the same outcomes? The world is, is more diverse and globalised than ever before and I think that it's important that businesses really reflect that both in a working environment but also culturally. If I reach the top of where I want to be and uh, looking down, the people who were being interviewed were from all different life experiences, then I would feel happy in the firm that I worked for. When you try to put people into a confined box, you know, they would try to escape. If you allow people the freedom, I guess the outcomes would be you know, more rewarding for both the business and the individual. Showing the opportunities that are available to students at a slightly younger age, perhaps 15, 16, will really create that ambition and lead to those individuals really working hard to, to get into the professions at a later date. In a global world, it's common to accept people for what and who they are. So that expectation needs to be transferred to business today. And that can be done by hearing the views of young people like me and opening the discussion and that by simply starting the conversation can be achieved. And that might involve innovating and reaching out to uh, different sources of um, talent. And in those places that no one else is going, you'll find the solutions that no one else is finding.